usually those models are optimized for um, 32 bits, like they are running on GPUs. That's what GPUs can do. They can really efficiently process 32 bits and it, no issue for them. Still, if you're using a smaller bit, obviously you need less memory and you can run it also on CPUs because you can optimize, for example, to run it on int integers instead of floats. And CPUs can usually process integers way quicker than, than float or oper floating operating points. So you have a, a smaller, smaller size of the model and a more efficient um, execution. This is not only true for the training, this is also true for the inference later on. Uh, I mean, maybe Jared, Sasha, when you quantize the model, have you, I'm sorry, is quantize loss fine tuning the model uh, where I'm going with, have you noticed a lot of difference of performance? There's just like having a good problem on a very large model. Yeah, there, there are quite a few benchmarks out there they, which compare the not quantized version with the quantized version. And you're losing some of the, um, of the um, uh, overall quality of the model, right? But it's only a fraction of, of, of percent, maybe it's one or two percent, which you're losing there. But it obviously depends on your use case. You again need to evaluate how good your model is actually after contestation. So you cannot assume it's the same like before. You need to have a check on that. 